Did you know that every second breath you take comes from the ocean? You're breathing in the ocean's collective exhale. Hear me out. I'm Charles Post coming to you live from the Arctic. I'm Hip Camp's resident ecologist, and today we're gonna to be digging into some surprising facts about our world as you don't know it yet. So when was the last time you thought about breathing? I mean, actually stopped and thought about breathing and where that air that fills our lungs comes from. And you might already know that oxygen comes from photosynthetic plants like trees, but what if I told you that a huge proportion of the oxygen in our atmosphere actually comes from tiny, tiny photosynthetic factories called plankton. And some of these species are so small that millions of them can fit into a single drop of water. And so maybe you're wondering, like photosynthesis, we maybe all heard a little bit about it, but what actually is photosynthesis? So this is when a plant takes solar energy from the sun and they use carbon dioxide that also exists in the atmosphere and water and create sugars, which is like their food. That's how these plants sustain themselves. Now the outcome of this chemical process is oxygen, which fills our lungs and lets us do all the fun stuff we love to do besides just living, which is pretty cool. But anytime you take a deep breath, you can thank these plants for working so hard day in and day out and filling our lungs with oxygen. And so next time you take a deep breath, even if you live in a landlocked place, could be Ohio, the desert, somewhere across the globe that doesn't have a coastline, or you just live far away from the ocean, you are literally breathing in the exhale of all these hardworking plants scattered across bodies of water across our globe. And while we're used to seeing campaigns and efforts to protect our forests. I've never seen a campaign to protect our plankton, and yet maybe we should be thinking that way because plankton do so much for us and they're suffering too. The state of our oceans are in many places imperiled. And so it's not something we should take for granted, this little hardworking plant that's pumping oxygen into the atmosphere so we can live our lives. And so on your next beachfront hip camp adventure, Think about these billions and billions and billions of microscopic tiny little plants converting that solar radiation into oxygen so we can enjoy our days. 